Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Once again, call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. I'm the brother Tazim Makamath, coming from the camp, Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and Ruel. Peace and salutation to the whole fillet that scatter abroad. And I have this uh this article that I came across today. Now it says uh World Economic Forum Insider. It says planned mass casualty event will result in globalist coup of America. Now when you read on, there's a lot of info in this uh article, and uh Lord willing I could touch upon all the main uh important points. In this article, because you know we get we get into a a time where Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, he's showing himself. Okay, he, he hey he's showing that we at the end. Okay, he's showing that hey we at hey we seeing the end of this man's rulership as well. Okay. Now this uh it says the global elites reset moment is almost here okay it says according to the wef insider all right and now let's get this uh first scripture because all you hear all you hear about is nothing but insiders and uh whistleblowers so let's grab this scripture real quick This is Psalm 64, verse 8. And it says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Okay? And everything that's is being exposed about these devils. Everything is coming out about these devils, man. And really, it's just the, the spirit of the Lord that's doing it. Okay? That's exposing this devil. Hey, that's just making everything broad all right and if you can't see it then you're really just blinded all right now what the scriptures say the prudent foresee all right see the evil I'm scared of that this is uh proverbs 22 and verse 3 it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself okay a, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai, okay, and he's put the spirit on his men and his believers to, to see the things that's going on, to be in tune, what's happening in the world and what's going on in, in, in the dark, wicked councils that they're, that they're trying to hide from the main public media, okay, and they put now all these all these distractions, you, you see you go on your social media platform, all you see is everything is about fucking Diddy, now you got this Cardi B and Offset situation and whatever else is going to happen. All right. But this is all entertainment distractions to keep you blinded. All right. From what's really going on in the real world and what we about to enter into, man. We about to enter into an evil time under this man's rulership. And really, this is all coming from the hand of Yahweh Shemiel Shai. Okay. Hey, but we're seeing the evil. We're seeing the things that's going on. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Okay, because, hey, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shah, he's revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, so they could be so they could be aware, so they could be watching. And not only watching for themselves, but also watching for the flock as well. And you see these uh, other main camps, IUYC, ISUBK, they're all doing these debates and, and stuff, but they're not talking about this. They're not warning you of the things that about, we're about to enter into, which is all part of prophecy, man. You see, the Lord is making it very clear and plain who he is dealing with in this earth, man. And it's from the, our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who have the 100% truth. They are the true men of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. Okay? These other camps, man, if they're not getting in line, they, they're out there to either blind you or deceive you, man, or keep you entertained. Okay? 
and it says, but the simple pass on and are punished, right? And you're gonna see a lot of that in, in Israel, man. They don't take this thing serious. They, they take this thing as entertainment. Okay, when you go to uh, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, it tells you how Jake likes to be entertained, okay? You know, we are very uh, stiff-necked, sottish people, okay? Um, let me see. Yeah, Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh from Yahweh. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they would not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. So they see this thing as entertainment. All right, and they, and they see this thing as, you know, oh, I'm get rich and, you know, whatever it may be. <laughs> okay, but this is a, this is a very serious business, man. This is a life and death, you know, ultimatum spectrum that we are in. And what the Lord said, hey, choose life. Okay, he said that to Moses, when Moses told that to the Israelites, he said, you have life and death in front of you. Okay blessing and cursing man choose life man but see our people rather choose death and really this is all predestined man all right verse 32 it says and lo thou art thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do not but they do but they them hold on it's lucky it says kind of excited it says and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Okay? And hey, guess what? The simple is going to be passed on and punished. All right? They see this thing as entertainment. And you hear this from our elders and apostles all the time. Hey, this is not a, a entertainment. You're supposed to be learning. You're supposed to be growing. Okay? Because the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahshai is what's going to keep us stable in the times that we're about to enter into, man. We're about to enter into the wrath, you know, stemming from Yahweh Shem Yahshai, but we're about to enter the wrath of Esau, man. He's about to come down with great wrath. He's about to, he's not about to spare nothing, okay? He's not about to show no mercy, man. But see, Jake like to, like to play games until reality hits them in the face, man. All right, in verse 33, it says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And then they're going to know, all right, when we've been telling them about the MOTB, Jacob's trouble, Esau being the devil, okay? <laughs> Scriptures say, who's going to pity a charmer that's bitten by a serpent? All right, in Sirach, the 12th chapter. All right, we're not going to pity you. We've been warning you and telling you, Okay? And if you tarrying to, to get it right, to get along, okay, hey, that's on you. Then the Lord said, hey, I'm going to mock you and laugh when your fear cometh, okay? Because guess what? Hey, when the Lord's hand was out, no man regarded. No man took the Lord serious. They want to slander his name. They want to slander his doctrine. You know, look at this. Look at this, uh, this truth as a money scheme. You see, this is not this is not what this is about, man. This is a serious thing. All right, now let's read this again. It says the global elites reset moment is almost here, according to the WEF insider who warns final preparations are being made for a mass casualty event. Okay, when you think about a mass casualty event, you think about order of KO. All right, which these top elites they like to do, they like to bring in chaos and establish order. All right. And it says, targeting non-compliant U.S. politicians designed to overrule the election results and plunge the nation into martial law. All right. Paving the way for the next phase of their totalitarian master plan. Totalitarian master plan. Lord willing, I said that right. But um, you see, it says martial law is coming. Time for a great reset. Hey, man, we getting, 
we're getting closer to that time, man. So let's go back to uh let's go to this scripture right here. Um Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? The prophecy. Alright, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Alright, you see the prophecies are speaking now. Alright, it's not lying. The Lord is not a man, he should lie. Everything that he written in this Bible is coming to pass. All right, it's coming true. And it says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right, it's not going to lag. Once it start, once everything starts rolling, everything is at a train, man. It's a freight train. Everything's going to steamroll. All right, everything's going to be a domino effect. Okay. And guess what, man? A lot of our people, they don't want to get right, man. They're going to see the, the, the real, the true, harsh reality of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? He's not a man he's, you should be playing with. Um. Okay, so now let's touch up on the litter. Let's touch up on some of these things in this article. It says these leaders will ignore the voice of the people ruling on behalf of the tyrannical elite with no regard for democracy or individual freedoms. Let's see. It says preparations for the mass casualty event false flag are underway and those who are paying attention are seeing evidence of the deception before our very eyes. All right. The Washington Post, it says every, it says ever obedient to the globalist elite is sowing seeds of doubt in the minds of the public, paving the way for a false flag attack that will serve their agenda. You see, it says the mainstream media is on board and the deception has also seeped into uni party politics in D.C. It says the global elite has pushed Kamala Harris to emphasize the narrative that Donald Trump is a threat to democracy, all right, which shows you that, hey, you know, the Bible Belt people, um, you know, these MAGA, these MAGA, man, damn near everybody is want Trump in office. So imagine if Kamala Harris becomes the president, selected. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a civil war, man. Okay. It says, it says, accusing your opponent of what you're planning to do yourself is a classic move straight from the globalist playbook, which shows you that all these presidents, they're selected. They're, um, what the other Pastor Tahar, how, how he says it? They're like puppets, but they're groomed, right? He, he says how they've been groomed from a young age, you know, to, to basically, um, They've been groomed at a young age to, to fit the agenda of the global elites. All right. He always talks about how Bill Clinton shook the hands of JFK. All right. And groomed him to be the way the man he is. He talks about how Obama, okay, was groomed. All right. He was a nobody. Now he's a somebody back in 08. Okay. Now it says we are at DEFCON 1 because the plan for a mass casualty event in the House of Representatives in the is an open secret among globalists and the uni party politicians in Washington, D.C. Okay. Um, right here, it says the global elite laid the groundwork for the great deception with the C, with the CV demic. Okay. You see that? So you see, this is all a great deception. All right, you see what what this just says, man. Right here. This was a great deception back in 2020. That was a great deception among the whole world. You got people still wearing masks to this day. Okay, but hey, the great deception they put fear upon the people. You know, fear upon the um, mainstream media, which that's all part of witchcraft, man. Okay, that's all part of witchcraft. All right. And that's how Esau do, does things. They put, they push fear upon people. And guess what? They put people on lockdowns. Okay. And guess what? They were putting up things, you know, to, uh, 
They were putting they were putting things in play in in the uh, while everybody was locked down. Okay. And then they said they had a they had a cure. They got this. They got that. And guess what? Everything is coming out that 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 th that's that same that same venom. That's the same thing that's you know destroying people, man. Okay. Everything is coming out about this. That was all. That that was all a forerunner of what's to come. It was about to come in the near future, man. Okay. Now it says training the masses to respond to fear-based programming and the mass casualty attack will be another nail in the coffin. Okay. Um, this is a lot of information, man. It says no prizes for guessing who are who are going to blame and guess what they're going to blame Russia you know so let's get some scriptures real quick <laughs> um let's go to Nahum 3 this is Nahum 3 and 4 is cuz it says because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot Okay, and hey, guess what? The harlot is Babylon the Great. Okay, that's the harlot. All right. It says the mistress, the mistress of witchcrafts. All right, because this place is built off witchcrafts, deception. All right, evil. It says that sell of nations through her whoredoms, right? Her her philosophy, her her democracy, and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. And it says, And I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. Okay, and guess what? Esau is becoming bare. Everything is coming out about this devil. You know, we're going to hit these same scriptures each and every time, man, because we are at the end of this, we are at the end of this man's kingdom. All right, we at the end of this man's kingdom. We see the prophecies at the doorstep, and that's how we measure the time. And that's how we're measuring the time, right? Um, when you go to right here, Second uh, Ezra is nine and one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past which I have told thee before." Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So, hey, we're measuring the time through prophecy. Okay? Now it's coming to pass. Now everything is coming to light. Okay? And guess what? Bible is not is, is the only book that can't be mated. Okay? You can't mate nothing with this book because this is what this holy Bible is what separates everything. It tells you about the past, future, present, history, prophecy, okay? This book cannot be made with any other book. And the Bible is the number one selling book, man. Okay? The Holy Bible, man. This is God's true words, man. It's not the Quran. It's not none of that, man. It's the Holy Bible, okay? So now let's go back to this article. Um... It says anyone who has been paying attention to their actions in recent years knows that patriots, conservatives, and so-called conspiracy theorists will be blamed. Okay, so I guess what? Who's going to be blamed? And hey, we know who the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, so guess what? The Lord said, hey, examine yourself, man. Know what you're a part of. <laughs> All right, because, hey, this is we're about to be. Uh, What's that word? Um, persecuted. Okay. For righteousness sake. And the Lord said, hey, if they hated you, they hated me first, man. And guess what? We want to walk the way. Hey, let me just grab it, man. Um, This is Matthew 20 and 21. 
Matthew 20 and 20. It says, Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons worshiping, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She saith unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on thy left, in the kingdom. But Yahweh answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left, it is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. All right, which shows you, hey, we got a drink of that cup. We want to, hey, the, the servant is not greater than his master. Let's get that servant, master. This is Matthew 10 and uh, 24. It says the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. All right. And guess what? We want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So guess what? We got to drink of that cup. We got to we got to walk the steps he already had laid before us. <laughs> Peter said he had made an uh, example for us to follow. This is a uh, first Peter two and 21 for even here on two where ye call because you have also suffer for us, leaving us an example that you shall follow his steps who did no sin. Neither was God found in his mouth who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Okay, and it says, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but now return unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Okay, and guess what? We want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. We got to walk the steps that he already laid for us, man. Okay, some of us may be martyred. All right, we're gonna be in prison. All right, we're gonna be suffer. Hey, we're gonna suffer for righteousness' sake. Okay, we're gonna be suffering a lot of things, man. And the things and the times that we're coming into, man. And that's all right, because the Lord told us, hey, this is all part of the story. Okay, so Barakata, Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, so let's get, um, it says, and so-called conspiracy theorists will be blamed to further the agenda of the global elite and justify their crackdown on so-called dissent in society. All right, and let's see. It says the end goal of the deception is total enslavement of cowed and confused sheeple. And the elite have already begun rolling out the first phase of the digital prison they plan to lock us in. Digital ID and CBDC are incoming and both will be mandatory for people to interact in society. 15 minute cities are appearing in the US and UK and the UN and World Economic Forum have announced they are signing a treaty to accelerate Agenda 2030. All right. Let me see. Right. And that's that's pretty much the main point, man. Let's show you a hey, we're coming to a digital digital system. Let's grab Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 16. It says and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a M.A.R.K., a Karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads 
and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the M-A-R-K, the Karagma, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. This is biblical prophecy, okay, that we're about to enter into. Biblical prophecy. And it says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. And they want to implant this all in the people. Okay. They want to put everything in, upon the people. They want to put a, a a digital ID to be able to buy things, have a UPC within you. Okay. Let's let's touch upon this again. Um Now it says the enslavement of cowed and confused sheeple. Okay. Now let's go into this word order up the order up chaos. Okay. Order out chaos. Now I came across this word right here. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Let's go into the etymology of uh, chaos. All right, chaos, a state of utter confusion, okay? So they want to establish order when people are confused, okay? So, hey, martial law is going to come, all right? People are desired to go into the city and shall not be able, okay? It's going to be bad out here, man. These people are not ready for what's about to come, man. If you don't got the hedge of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay, these people are, are sheep prepared for the slaughter. They, they're going to be lining up. They're going to be, you know, ready to to bow down to Esau and his system. All right. But hey, we're warning you. We're warning you here first, man. That hey, the Lord is telling us the plans of this, this damn elite and what they want to do. All right. The time is short. The devil's going to come down with that great wrath, man. This is order up KO. Hey, Lord willing, this all happens in the month of November. Okay? Because this is the hopeful year of uh, Jacob's trouble. All right? So, Lord willing, this lesson been edifying. I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Ba Shimi Al Shah, Ba Shimi Kakudash. Till next time, I'm going to say Shalom.